In this episode, I thought um, I'd take you through the process for how I make my static grass tufts, as you can see here on the uh, commission that I've been working on recently. Um, so I'm going to show you each step um, and how I go about it. And um, yeah, hopefully it will help you in the long run with your project. So the first step is to gather all your equipment and make sure you've got it ready. I've got some grass, different grass fibres, um, static grass. Um, I've got my tacky glue from Hobbycraft. Um, I've got my tracing paper, which is really important. Sellotape is a must. I've got a stirring coffee stirrer and a metal tin lid, which is uh, vital. And obviously the static grass applicator, which um, without that you can't really do anything. <laughs> um, also important is the crocodile clip. And you've got your paper as well, which um, is for collecting all your loose ends. To begin with, I grab the tin plate and I like to get the a shape for my tracing paper to begin with. So I cut out the shape, make sure it's going to fit inside the metal lid. And then using the sellotape I um, stick down all four corners. Um, make sure it's the tape's inside the rim of the lid if you can. Always helps. There you go, I've sorted. Um, you want to then grab your tacky glue um, and you want to start to put on um, a couple of dollops, tiny little dollops if you can. They will be quite chunky as well to begin with. Um, I put three spread out evenly um, with you know a gap in between because then what I like to do is I grab a coffee stirrer and just spread the glue out and move it from one lump onto another um, position next to it. Um, and then this way, you know, it makes it kind of cleaner and neater. Um, I find by doing this. I think it's a case of really just repeat that, keep doing that. Um, I like to put out like quite a few different sized blobs um, because then you get different kind of tufts and I also like to do some long um, strips because you never know if you're going to need a long sort of strip of uh, static grass to um, for like a gateway or something you know those sort of grass tufts between the uh, tyre uh, markings in mud you know you, you know, we've all seen them in the countryside Next part is a key bit, it is the static grass applicator. Um, so you want to get that ready and you want to select your weapon. So I've gone here for a 6mm moss green. Um, and obviously it doesn't matter about the colour because we're going to prime it afterwards. So you I pour that into my the coffee strainer or whatever the static grass applicator is that you've got the end um, a generous amount and then you want to just make sure it's uh, even if it's a bit lumpy it doesn't matter take your tin which um, have your glue on and get your crocodile clip this is important because this earths the static grass applicator so you want to attach that to the rim the very edge of your lid um, to ensure connectivity like so and then if you hold your wire out of the way you're ready to go and you literally want to cover all of the glue that you've put down um, so this means literally just shake it all on use your finger to sort of tap the static class, uh, grass applicator and it um, 
and it's obviously important to um, get rid of the static as well at the end by tapping it on the side then you want to tip it up and shake it onto the paper and there you go you've got some tufts um, and obviously important is uh, you know recycle those bits try and save them if you can um, obviously next you want to then take off the sellotape and remove that bit of tracing paper that you've just um, used and put that to one side to dry so there we have it I've done six millimeter uh, two millimeter there and then on the end four millimeter um, and as you can see they are standing up on end and you've created lots of different tufts obviously when it's dry you then want to get a pair of tweezers that's what I like to do and you can actually pull up um, each one a little bit tough but um, you'll get a little grass tuft all different lengths and they are super useful and it's a lot sort of cleaner I find than doing um, you know lots of static grass so there you have it that's my route to doing it obviously then I apply it to the scene and then I use primer to cover everything so it sort of brings it into one scene really that you can then paint onto with um, an airbrush and that's when I use different greens and um, beiges and things to create sort of dead grass and you know you can literally go wild with all the different kinds of colors that you might want um, yeah so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time